Two monkeys in a bath. One says to the other, hoo, 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 ha, ha, ha. The other says, well, put the coal tap on then. <laughs> How do you make a cat go woof? Pour petrol on it and light it. <laughs> These are the clean ones. <laughs> I was walking with my wife and I saw six men kicking and punching my mother-in-law. My wife said, aren't you going to help? I said, no, six should be enough. <laughs> a policeman came to my front door and said, I'm sorry, sir, but it looks like your wife's been in an accident. I said, I know, but she's got a crack in personality. <laughs> Now, here's a question you never hear a stand-up comedian uh, ask. Why did you laugh at those jokes? Does, does anyone have any ideas on why they laughed? Funny. I hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> I hate cats is a very good answer. I'm sure that's not the case, though. That's just another joke on top of that one. So, uh, any ideas on why you laughed? It's no, funny. Nostalgia is a very good answer. Yeah, because they're old classic school jokes and the familiarity of that. That is kind of a... That's a reason sometimes. Any other thoughts? Breaking the ice? Well, I suppose it is, yeah, that social activity. Actually, we, well, I think we're going to talk about that later on, the idea that laughter as a kind of group activity. Don't panic, we're going to explain all this. <laughs> uh, everyone does it, everyone understands what it means, but what actually is laughter? Laughter is more like a different way of breathing than it is anything else. So what we're all doing right now, hopefully, is using the intercostal muscles, the muscles between our ribs, to get air in and out of our bodies. So that's called metabolic breathing, exactly. You breathe in, you breathe out as being drawn in and then squeezed back out again. I'm good at this. So if were I to look at your chest wall moving, well, I'd see... That feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> I've overthought it. <laughs> yes. Go on, so my chest wall is just moving in and out. You keep going with that. You'd see this almost sinusoidal movement, this very smooth movement. You start doing it the minute you're born, that's it, the whole rest of your life. When we start laughing, those same muscles start to contract. in a really large deflections, just squeezing air out of you. And that's basically all laughter is. It's an extremely primitive way of making a sound. Ultimately, if you couldn't stop laughing, it'd kill you. Yep. I'm just... basically, I'm a deadly weapon, is what you're saying. You definitely are. It's just squeezing is... air out of you. It stops you breathing, it stops you talking, it's trying to kill you. And we've rigged some people up so we can show this. Exactly. And what we'll notice is, hopefully, if you can make them laugh, that both the very fine movement you get during talking and the smooth movement that you get during breathing should go away. And instead, what we get is just these big zigzags as air's just being squeezed out of you. OK, so are we looking at them breathing first? Ho well, hopefully, they're already breathing. OK, so hopefully. are they breathing? <laughs> they're, see breathing. they're breathing now, and you're, you're happy... Sinead, your PhD assistant. Hi, Sinead. How are you? So you're saying those two ladies are alive? Fantastic. This is incredible science. <laughs> so, so I've got to try and make them laugh now. Please. I'll, right, I'll do some jokes uh, from over here. We've got a performance area. With yay, everyone. <coughs> yay! yay! OK. Um, I look like this, obviously, because my dad is Irish and my mum is Roger Federer. <laughs> I feel like you're laughing at me, not with me there. Um, a nurse finds a rectal thermometer in her pocket and thinks, some arsehole's got my pen. Yeah. <laughs> I got talking to a North African girl recently in her native language for hours. We just clicked. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. We should be able to see some sort of difference then. So, uh, uh, did you see anything there? Oh. oh, look at that. Can you see at the bottom there, she's breathing, and then you're really making her laugh. Can you see the big zigzags then? Breath, 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 and then zigzags again. Hang on, I'm going over to have a look. So, hang on, I'm going to use a, uh, one of these technical fingers. So, that was the laugh. Yes, that's the laugh That's there. a pretty big laugh. That's pretty big. <laughs> and there's a big... So oh, you look at the top as well, the, the person at the top is also laughing. Yeah, but she Goodness. wasn't really into yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you were funny, yeah. It feels like if I was... If I'm going to work as an assassin, and that is ultimately the goal of this show, <laughs> I would, I would not be able to kill that, the lady in the, in the yellow, but the, the lady in the orange, I think... Yeah. You better watch yourself, love. <laughs> I believe we have some MRI scans. We do. We got Excellent. Start... <laughs> that was science well, I'm sorry, I didn't have time to get to the doctor, so we're going to quickly go through these now. <laughs> see if I'm going to make it. OK, so w what are we looking at? What we're looking at first is uh, it, we're running the MRI machine like a video camera, so you're literally taking a movie of somebody speaking here. And what she's doing is she is talking her way through some nursery rhymes, and you can see everything that's happening during speech. Very complex movements of the tongue. You've got the jaw moving up and down, the lips, the soft palate, the bit at the back of your nose, um, the larynx, the voice box is moving up and down. So that's speech. Very complex, nothing like that out there in nature. And then if we move on to the next one, which should be somebody laughing, it's the same person laughing. We made a laugh in the scanner. And if you look, 
none of that is happening, basically. She's moving up and down a lot because her rib cage is moving, but the tongue is staying in the bottom of the mouth. And if you've ever laughed until the back of your throat hurts, you can see why that's happening there, because actually, you see, she's squeezing the tongue right back up against the pharynx, so you're squeezing all that air out through an even narrower pipe. Um, I'm sorry, what did you nail her to to get this to happen? <laughs> who doesn't move their head even slightly when they laugh? She's, this in, is... she's in something that looks disturbingly like a kind of sarcophagus. She's in literally something that's holding her head and shoulders in position, so we can image all this bit here. Where so is the rest she of now? <laughs> she's alive, she's well, she escaped, she made it through. She escaped. <laughs>